alternative for the front range. You gotta open up his eyes to the music. 94.3 The X. Psychic Marla Mitchell is back from her vacation. Welcome back, Marla. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> you were on this uh, like silent retreat. Yes. Uh, which is something I, I've never heard of anyone else doing, and it sounds very interesting to me, though. It is. Uh, this is my fourth time doing it. Um, I've done it with, like, 40 other people, which is uh-huh. really hard. Oh, I bet. And then the last three times, I've done it by myself. Okay. And so the reason you go silent, and I did it for nine days this time, um, you don't talk. I mean, you don't talk to yourself. You don't say, hmm, or you don't say right. anything out loud. Yeah. And it's amazing when you get used to it, your mouth just clamps shut. Uh-huh. And um, for me, it's an it's an ability that it allows me to go really, really deep within. Mm-hmm. And all your stuff comes up because that oh, ego man. wants to talk and judge and criticize. Yeah. And it wants to get fed, you know. And, right. And your stuff comes up for a couple days and you really feel a lot of, you know, your past issues come oh, up. Man. And and then once you surrender all that and let it go, because you're not get feeding it anything, you know, uh-huh. there's no one to argue with. You can't argue with yourself. You're right. Saying, right. Yeah. It actually helps you let that stuff go. Wow. And co- now, keep in mind, you're not on the Internet. You're not using right. your cell phone. You cannot read. You cannot listen to music. You don't watch um, TV. You can journal. Oh, no, no. You can <laughs> yeah, journal. Um, I did take a book, but it was a, uh, a, a spiritual book. Okay. Um, so I, I took actually the four agreements that I talk about on the show. Yeah, yeah. So I took something that was helping me with my stuff as it came up. Right. But you don't talk, listen to music. You don't do anything. And so you're just outdoors a lot. You, it mm-hmm. helps if you can go out into nature. Okay. And hike and walk. And stay busy and, with other... And, yeah. And, and you can do little projects. You mm-hmm. know, I painted a chair. Um, I did some artwork up there. And yeah. Cool. So it's it's very therapeutic, very healing. If you do see other people, um, you know, people just say, hi, I just nod, you know, and just yeah, smile yeah. or wave, you know, <laughs> yeah. if you're hiking and see people. But yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. all, it was great. Very cool. Yeah. I, I don't know if I could ever do that. It's, it's so <laughs> healing. It's so healing. And, and you come back and you're like, wow, you're uber sensitive. And then to hear all the cars and the traffic and the noise and the people talking, mm-hmm. you know, it's almost like, wow, it's, it's almost how it, just, it kind of just reminds me of how we've um, lost ourselves. Yeah. In all of the gadgetry, the technology, mm-hmm. and we've lost our true nature. Right. By totally. being surrounded, all these distractions that we have, we're not really tuning in. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Well, and especially these days, like, you know, every I've been hearing so many people saying, oh, my God, I hate Facebook because every time I go on there, it's all just complaining about something, you know, yeah. be it politics or st- other stuff in the news or whatever yeah. and you know it's... people are saying i hate facebook now and i you know just with all this stuff going on it's it's easy to see why we've lost ourselves we've lost ourselves and all of this stuff and we over identify with everything my phone my computer mm-hmm. oh i have to you know we just get really yeah. caught up in it yeah and so definitely. it takes you back to the beginning of whatever whatever brought us here and yeah. you just kind of just do a little soul searching yeah very cool very cool psychic marla mitchell in the studio 1-800-595-2943 if you'd like to talk to her we also did a little short facebook live video on facebook if you want to comment on that with your uh question for her or send us a message because maybe you can't make it to the phone that's okay 94.3 the x on facebook but people with birthdays today yes in numerology what year are they in and and what does that mean for them? Today is Wednesday, July 13th. You are a cancer, in case you didn't ah. know it. <laughs> cancer the crab. Uh, you could be a little crabby sometimes, but you do really um, you know, notice that that comes up. If you are affected by, you know, cancers love their home. Mm-hmm. They love their home. Their security is their home. You know, the crabs take their home with them everywhere they go. So mm-hmm. th- their sense of security is about taking care of others and their home. And so being a Cancer and being born today, you are in a two personal year. Ah. And so two means to slow down. You need to examine and find connections uh, between your past, your present, and your future. Be patient. Be meticulous. Um, everything has a purpose and a direct connection now. So... Um, 
it, it really is about setting some goals and then just taking your time with it. This is not a very high productive year. It can be kind of slow. You're learning patience. You are working on relationships. So what mm. you will notice is, you know, and you're going to go into a two next year. So yeah. a two. When you said slow down, I'm like, gosh, darn it. I yeah, don't want to slow um, down. <laughs> th- th- things can happen, but they're not as quick as you would like in a two year. Because right. you're doing the inner work on the relationship with yourself yeah. and with everyone around you. So people right. from your past can come up. Issues from your past can come up. You can meet a soulmate in a two year. Oh, I met my husband Crossing in a two fingers. years. Yeah. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be a two year, but you can. The, yeah. the odds are more in your favor, I'll say. Okay. Um, it really is more about you being a su- supportive to other people. So it's not about shining your light really bright this year. It's about you being supportive, you being like, if everyone else is on stage, you're the people backstage making it happen. Okay. So it's a very supportive year, a very good year to do your work. And if you don't want to be in the limelight, it's great. If you do, you're going to have to wait till your three year. But it, it's good. Just be patient and work on all relationships. If there's any that don't work, let them go now in a two year. Okay. Let them go. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. one 800 595 If you'd like to talk to psychic Marla Mitchell, Sarah on Facebook is wondering if she and her husband will ever buy a house. Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah. Uh, people want to buy houses these days well, and, and they're so expensive. Yeah, they're so expensive and they go quick too. Yeah. As soon as you look at a house, someone buys it. <laughs> that's what I've heard. Bidding wars. Yeah. Okay. You said it was Sarah? Okay. Sarah. Yes. Okay. All right. This is for Sarah. Let's see what we get. Yeah, right off the bat, I get defeat, and that's the current mm-hmm. position. So okay. it could be where they're, you know, looking and they get discouraged, or they're looking in the wrong area, or they find a house and then it's, they're outbid. Mm-hmm. Um, the answer is yes, it is coming, but not right away. I get the truce card, the quiet card, but then I show pregnancy, ah, which means nine good. months or less. Yes. And then Ace of Pentacles, which is almost the same as pregnancy, but it means the money will be there. Yes, they are going to move buy sell. This is the buy sell okay. card. Good. So absolutely, uh, I would say within the year, within the you year. will find That's something. Good. Now, oftentimes, if you do wait till it's not as busy, like summertime, mm-hmm. um, people are more desperate to sell in the right. winter time. I know it's not okay. fun to move in the winter, but right. people may negotiate with you better because they just want to because they get want out. out. They, the house yeah. has been on the market for a while, things right. like that. But within a year, you will move. You will buy a house, Good. Sarah. Yay! Good, very cool. That was from Sarah on Facebook. She commented on our Facebook Live video. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, Juliet uh, is wondering about her finances slash career. She's wondering if there's any improvement. Okay. And she is a Scorpio. She's a Scorpio. All right. Let's see what we get for Juliet. Career and finances. Hmm. Okay. There's some disappointment there. She's a, you said Scorpio? Yes. Okay. So I'm pulling Aries. Hmm. Burden. Okay. So... A lot of this is up to you, Juliet, because I'm pulling the Aries card with the choice card. So if you're wanting your finances to improve, your career to get better, um, it really is a lot about taking the steps necessary to grow your financial situation to uh, profitability. Um, And by that, I mean, you know, um, depending on what you believe, you know, Supposedly, our path, our fate is already set from Mm -hmm. the moment we're born to the day we die. Mm -hmm. Um, And a lot of people say, well, what's the point of getting out of bed if I'm going to end up at X, Y, Z? Because we have free will here. And with free will, that means your path is set, but you determine how far you're going to go on it and exactly Mm -hmm. what's going to happen to you by your actions. And so for Juliet, 
if she wants a raise, if she wants a new job, this is one of those times where she needs to act. She needs to update her resume, start looking. If you already have been looking, Juliet, then keep looking. Do not give up. Do not get discouraged. Um, if she wants to stay with the same company or maybe she owns her own business, then she needs to find new ways or new innovative ways to increase business um, or get that raise from the boss or transfer within. But this is like something where she needs to take the action. This is one of those times where she shouldn't sit back. She needs to go forward and believe in herself and be mm-hmm. assertive. Right. And then when she does that, um, abundance comes in and she has to get her ego out of the way. So there might be some pride involved or some low self-esteem, like, oh, I could never do that because right. I don't have yeah. this degree. or And right. that's not that's not true. It's happened to right. me in my life. You know, mm-hmm. you don't have to have yeah. that exact degree right. to get that job. It's a lot right. about is enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. And that's what she needs. Enthusiasm yeah. and assertiveness. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So as long as she just kind of takes needs, charge. She needs to make an can, effort. And the okay. universe will match any effort you put out. If you put out 50%, it'll give you 50%. What goes mm-hmm. around comes around. Yeah. So yeah. this is one of those times to act. That moment when you remember there's a station that plays the kind of music that makes you feel good. Ah, uh, okay. Now, now I get you. That's cool. 94.3 The X. Front Range Alternative. Getting me too excited. All too excited. <laughs> she, she's like, let's see if you're going to be on The Bachelorette. Or The Bachelor. The Bachelor. The Bachelor. And because uh, I, I don't talk about it a whole lot on this uh, station, but... Um, yeah, you, you applied for but it. But I yes, I applied for The Bachelor a couple weeks ago in Denver and you might get called back for a second. Maybe. Uh, but there's probably That's what I got. there's you probably might. thousands there's thousands of women throughout the United States right. that this, you know, that applied as well. So but, hey, it's not an everyone experience can make it. It's exactly. fun, so and exactly. you're young, go for it. You yeah, know? exactly. I mean, I I, I had nothing I have nothing to lose by even yeah. like just going through the initial casting call. There's right. nothing to lose. Just right. a great experience. So that's why I did it. Uh 1-800-595-2943 and I was also showing you all the really hot guys that could be the next <laughs> bachelor. <laughs> it could it, I don't know. Anyways, 94.3 the X on Facebook and 1-800-595-2943. 94.3 the X who's this? This is Joseph. Hey Joseph, what's your question for Marla? I'm just seeing where my, uh, uh, I'm trying to find another uh, partner in my life. Huh? So and you're looking at uh, you're looking for a soulmate. Yes. Okay. A best friend in love and life. Correct. A buddy is my, and my husband and I keep each other. <laughs> you're buddy. my buddy. You're my Aww, buddy. Oh, that's cute. All right, so let's see. We can find you a buddy, Joseph. Hold on. Let's see what we've got. So apparently there's not one now, current, right? You're on the... No. Outside of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Woo. I would say there is one coming. You have to really, um, there's a leap of faith here. So first of all, you have to work on the rut that you're in. And by that, I mean, we all have baggage. We all have a past. We all have things that... Um, you know, our shadow side that we're not proud of or our behaviors, things like that, our habits. And so they're saying just while you're in the in between loves, work on yourself, work on those things inside you that you would like to improve, not for not for a partner, but for you so that you can feel better about you. And when you love yourself more, you will bring in someone who will love you as much if not more, and unconditionally. So I guess I'm just saying, do the work. If you remember things about your last relationship that you didn't like your behavior about this or that, work on that part of you so that you will be a new, improved version of you for the new person. I do feel that there's someone coming. Let me give you a time frame. Feels like, if not before, by the end of the year. So like January, you can call us back and say, hey, I met someone. What does it look like? You know, and uh, but you do have to have someone coming in five or six months, if not sooner. That's okay. not that bad. No, okay. it's not bad at all. Yeah. But you need to work on yourself because you don't want to repeat the same things. See, if we don't do the work in between relationships, we repeat the same lesson. 
and the same thing comes up, that same darn issue, oh, she doesn't like this, or he doesn't like that, or blah, blah, blah. And if you do the work, then that doesn't have to be an issue again. Does that make sense? Yes, it is. Yeah, like, like whether it's someone's temper or someone's money spending habits or you know, or other habits, whatever it is. If you do the work now, then that won't be an issue again. Or if it is, it's much it's much less of an issue because you've done the work. So if you do the work, you'll bring in someone better and even a better match. Okay? Okay. All Thank right. you. All right. Thanks, Thanks Joseph. Joseph. It's 94 through the X. Who's this? I'm sorry, what? Hi, who's this? <laughs> Hi, this is Terry. Hey, Terry, what's your question for Marla? Um, I just wanted to know, I have an investment that I'm uh, waiting on coming to fruition, and uh, I just wondered, it's supposed to happen soon, but it's still kind of hazy, so I okay. could, uh, yeah, I'd like to know if it's going to happen soon or not. Okay. Okay, let me uh, flip some cards. So this is about if your investment's going to come to fruition in a positive way, correct? <laughs> you, you want it to work, right? No, yeah, not at all. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Terry. See, a lot of times, you know, people don't, uh, they don't work with the cards. You know, it really is a lot about how you ask. If, if you keep mm. it very vague, you'll get vague answers. So right, I'm right. saying you want to know if it's going to come out positively for you, this investment. Um, okay. Other than just saying, how's the investment? It'll just say, here's the investment. So positively, sure. it does look burden lifted, go for it. So you did the right thing. Uh, your investment was sound, I'm going to say, even if it was a risk. Um, you need to be very patient. I get the patient. Oh, I get two cards that mean patience, unless you're a Virgo or a Sag. Are you either of those? No, no, I'm a Pisces. You're the Pisces. Mm. Okay. Hi, dear Pisces. Hi. <laughs> we love Pisces here. <laughs> um, okay. So this is about patience. It It's going to get a little scary before it gets better. But I do show the investment growing and getting better and better and better. Burden lifted financially. Um, you need to keep everything from being... I don't know what we're talking about here, and you don't have to tell me, but we, you need to keep everything from getting scattered. Mm -hmm. Don't spread yourself too thin. Stay very focused. Uh, if you had a goal when you started this, keep reminding yourself of the goal. Okay, and don't get greedy. Don't get so. In other words, let's say it's a stock market investment. Okay, and because of the whole euro thing, you know, mm -hmm. all of that. Some people, you know, if they start off initially and they they make a, a wager or they invest in something, they have this goal: I'm going to sell at this price. Then, if they get greedy and say, "Oh, there's that price," I'm going to wait for the. You know, it really mm -hmm. is a judgment call on you. Is, Am I being greedy or am I listening to my my heart? And so I'm just giving you advice. Listen to your heart. Um, timeline, since we got two patience cards, you know, it may not pay off immediately. Um, it feels like first of the year or even spring feels to be ultimate as far mm -hmm. as the investment coming through or paying off. Does this make sense? It does, yeah. It's uh, it's actually been up and down, up and down, kind of a roller coaster, and it's supposed to happen soon, but it hasn't, and it keeps it's, going up like that. So it's it's going to not surprised. It's going to be more roller coaster than you like, and it's going to get scary. But if you can wait it out. You will like the results. Just don't don't get greedy. Don't get scared either, and and cash in too soon. Uh, just b ride out. You know, just like riding a. I just saw an image of a bull in eight seconds. That eight seconds is really long when you're on the back of that bull. Mm -hmm. Ride it through. Okay, <laughs> just hang on and don't get into, don't give in to fear. Okay. Yeah, yeehaw. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> yeehaw. The Front Range is home for new music discovery. 94.3 The X. When I give a reading, you know, um, I'm I'm sometimes specific, but most of the times vague in a way. Because we're not supposed to know exactly what's going to happen. Because, right. one, we can't. We, we, we have free will. Right. And Things so can change. We can change. I can tell you something, and then you can go out. I'll show her. And you can go <laughs> on match and pick, some, pick the first dude you find and say, look, I'm dating. You told me I wouldn't date till So, you know, you yeah. can blow my theory out of the water. Right. But if you go with the flow and you go with spirit, then there is a lot of wonder and surprises and intrigue. And so when I give a reading and then we think about it later, 
And I go, oh, you pulled that death card, and then you pulled this, and then it yeah. all makes sense. Because then you can see, well, spirit was guiding you. Mm-hmm. It just wasn't what our minds were perceiving. So that, that's how readings work. It's right. I can sometimes give you a definite yes or no, but mm-hmm. how it falls into place is up yeah. to you. Yeah, it's exactly. Up to you. Well, yeah. and like I was telling you off the air, there was one reading you did for me on career earlier this year. And there was something in there. I remember I, I was seeing someone at the time and, and you were saying, well, maybe it's this, you know, it's it, you, you were picking up on something where like love was in the equation somehow. Right. And, you know, uh, that relationship didn't work out. But um it's maybe it wasn't about that. Maybe it was something else. else. Maybe it's yeah. The Bachelor. Maybe. Who knows? Because I, I just pulled another spread and it showed again love and career are tied together. So interesting. And usually, sometimes you know, if you meet someone, um, where they live, where you live, could be mm-hmm. a factor in your career. Yeah. So totally. We'll totally. see. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It could. Be, I. It, yeah. It could be something anything. totally different. It could be anything. So we'll see. It's ninety four three the X, and uh, I'm, we're going to talk about this drum journey workshop here in a few minutes. Okay. That I went to, and Marla's got another one coming up, and it was, it was a trip. <laughs> I will tell you. You know, like you, 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 you told you told everyone beforehand, you're gonna go somewhere, <laughs> and it's not what you think, and it's not what you think, and everyone had such a different experience with it. So I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about that. Yep. But we have a call coming in ninety four through the X. Who's this? Hi, it's Jackie. You said Jackie. Yes, I did. Hey, Jackie. What's your question for Marla? Uh. Three years ago, I had a baby with my high school sweetheart, and I waited 11 years before I decided to move on and not, like, waited for him to come back, and he never did. Right. So I I got married, and um, he's recently kind of come back into my life, and is sorry for everything that has happened between us. He has only dated Jackie and married a Jackie. Whoa. And it's, telling, it's a little weird, and nobody knows what he left. He uh, denied me and my child, mm-hmm. and um, nobody knows that Mariah's his daughter. He is obviously married and has two kids. So my question is, I don't want to throw my marriage away if it's never if if he does, if he's not serious about coming clean and and making a family with me and his kids. So I guess. I guess I've never gotten over this man. This man has always, to me, has been my soulmate. Um, I love my husband, but it's just, it, it has, it's not the same kind of love that I had for my first love. Mm. Um, but at the same time, I, I don't want to move on. Um, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make the wrong Gotcha. Choice. Right. Gotcha. So. This, this has your, your predicament, not with the child involved, but with, all the social media out there, a lot of people are reconnecting with high school mm-hmm. sweethearts, college sweethearts, and then it puts their current marriage in jeopardy. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. very common. I get it all the time. Men and women both. Okay? Mm-hmm. Both of them married. So no one's guiltier than anything. We're all the same. Um, my question to you is if you didn't have this temptation, this past that's coming up at you, if you didn't have this conundrum, would you stay married to your current husband? Um, to be completely honest with you, the day I got married, I said to myself, the next time I get married, I'm going to get married outside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On the day of my wedding. Um, no. It's, uh, okay. I, I, I don't think that I will, regardless of what happens, okay. I don't know that I'm going to stay married. Okay, so that's that's okay. That's a good way. First, I wanted to see where your head was at because oftentimes, as humans, we want the grass that is greener. We want the memory. We want the nostalgia. We want you know the little yeah. fantasy that we have, and we risk something very very important for uh-huh. something that is a fantasy. And so, um, and what happens is wherever you go, there you are. When you let go of right. something, then you fall into. The dream world, it really is a dream. It really is a fantasy, and it doesn't materialize, and sometimes you're, you're worse off than you were. Um, let me just, so 
even now you're saying if you didn't have this high school sweetheart who's now interested in you, you still don't know if your current marriage will succeed, correct? Correct. Okay, so let's look at, give me a fake name. Let's see how serious the high school sweetheart person is. Give me a name. David. David. Let's see if he is sincere about his words, his actions, all of that. But again, uh, I can't reiterate enough that you don't want to leave somebody for somebody else. That's not good energy. I'm all about energy, okay? Real quick, real quick, just because it's the radio station, I obviously didn't give you his real name. Does it matter if I give you his real name for this reading? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Um, as long okay. as I just get permission through you. So, yeah, um, okay. and what was the name you gave me? David. David, okay. So, I do see... Oh, interesting. What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. What's his sign? Sagittarius. I got Aquarius. No, okay. <laughs> now the theme of the Sag, the, their, theme, their theme is don't fence me in. So, and <laughs> yeah. that totally makes sense with with what happened in high school. You know, him being younger, not wanting to be fenced in. Sagittarians, uh, I, I'm generalizing, but for the most part, Sagittarians do not like to be uh, coerced or ultimatums or fenced in, you know, which kind of happened. You didn't do it on purpose back in high school, but that was what happened and he reacted badly, right? Um, he, he didn't honor things um, or even acknowledge. Now, I'm not saying he had to marry you, but he could have acknowledged he had a child. But um, so Sages are kind of notorious for needing their freedom, not being fenced in. Is he saying he wants to marry you now? He said that there's a chapter in his life that that will, you know, that will be together. He's in a bad marriage, so he told me. So you're both in a bad marriage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He said he's made mistakes, but he said if he could go back, he would change everything. Well, okay. I mean, just because it's been recent, I mean, we've, we've talked throughout the years, you know, frequently. I, I, and it's I'm, just now become more serious. I, I'm just going to put it out there. The cards I'm showing are... For an affair, mm-hmm. not a marriage, okay. and an affair. So, in other words, you could really cause harm to your current marriage sooner than you want, and he as well, if you have an affair. Um, you have to look at the energy. Uh, I, I'm a real believer in what goes around comes around and everything we put out everything we do comes back to us okay and so if you cheat then that energy you are putting out will come back to you somehow i'm not creating fear i'm just saying it's a fact that you know if you hurt someone then you were hurting yourself and in some way in some form you were hurting yourself if if you cheat if you end your marriage I'm not saying to do that either, but if you end your marriage first and then go and and he ends his, there's a lot of what ifs there, then, then go and explore the relationship. But that's a lot longer process, but it definitely seals the deal. If he's still around after he ends his marriage and after you end your, your marriage, then you know it's the real deal. But if he's just wanting to get together and you are too, you have to look at what you're wanting. The, to me right now, it looks like an affair. And it looks like a lot of people are going to get hurt. Okay? But he is okay. he is capable of commitment, yes. But if you want to know that he's sincere, and even if, if you're sincere, you need to go through the steps so you don't hurt people. Okay? Does your child know her, her, who her daddy is? No, they've never met. I guess my next, wonder, I, I guess my next question is, will he ever... Will he ever commit we ever to her like we ever be a part of my daughter's life does mm-hmm. does she think the current husband is her dad no she knows she knows, she knows there's another dad. man okay yeah because otherwise she's in for a huge shock too so she knows there's another man so will those two ever meet can you give me david i got his name what's your it's your daughter's give me a fake name for her Susie. Sarah. Sarah? Sarah. Okay, let's call her Sarah. Okay. Sarah and David, will they ever meet and will she know the truth? Let's look at that. Is that a possibility? Mm, not right away. There's the princess card. There she is. A lot of things are at play here. Um, it is up to you. It's up to the female. Um, 
that depends on you, you know, if you want to open that can of worms, so to speak. Um, yes, your daughter has the right to know who her dad is if she wants to know. Um, it looks like it's headed that direction, whether or not you two sync up. It is headed that direction because I think as she gets older, or maybe she already has, she may really want to know, you know, her lineage, her, her gene pool. Oh, she always has, yeah. Okay, so then I think they will meet up um, when you finally are comfortable with it. And whether or not you and he ever become an item or a couple is up to you. And um, so you have a lot of choices. You have a lot of things to think about. But always just keep in mind your actions, whatever you do, you're doing to yourself. And so always try to be the best version of you. Have integrity. Your word is impeccable. You know, all those things. Remember that because you're affecting yourself as well as others. But right now, I just think he's, he's an affair. He's a fantasy He's someone going into your past. You can never go back and have it be the same. Mm -hmm. it, it can be better, but you have to make sure the energy is different this time. Okay? So okay. I, I know I didn't give you a lot of good stuff other than if, if you're unhappy in your marriage, work on it or get divorced if that's not an option. Um, same for him. And then see if there's love still. I, I just don't, I don't promote affairs. I don't. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks, Jackie. This is where the music matters. 94.3 DX, Front Range Alternative. A psychic Marla Mitchell in the <laughs> studio. We're just laughing about Beavis and Butthead. And she was like, my my son used to watch that show. And I'm like, my dad watches that <laughs> show. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. <laughs> oh. If you have a question for psychic Marla Mitchell, give us a call. 1-800-595-2943. She's here until 9 o'clock. And we also have some Facebook messages. Uh, but real quick i want to talk about the drum journey oh wow workshop that uh that you hosted a few weeks ago it was like mid to late june i think it was june 25th or something like that yeah, yeah. something like that and Way back and my mom and i went there and it was really cool so tell us first of all like what the drum journey workshop is like because i know but yeah and i have another one coming up august 4th yeah. okay so and the reason I'm doing another one is because I filled this one so fast. Yeah. I have a bunch of people in left like, over. It was oh, like in. less than 24 hours. Yeah. It <laughs> so August 4th is another one. What it is is first we do we do a little meditation work. And each time it's different. I change the meditations up. Sometimes we do more meditations, sometimes less, depending on the people in the room. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely give you tips and tricks, things to try to help you just kind of calm the brain, calm, calm the insane membrane down a little uh -huh. bit and just find that place of peace within so we get that mode going and then we do a drum journey and this is where it's intense um, I beat this drum for about 30 to 40 minutes depending on the people in the room and it's not a gentle beat it's a very loud obnoxious continuous mm -hmm. beat but the um, the fact that it's a rhythm and it's loud and it's repetitive it turns into background noise and that allows mm -hmm. within a couple minutes everybody goes into a trance and then you go back wherever you're supposed to go and you do some work on yourself and you release mm -hmm. things, instances, events, people. Um, it's different with everybody. You may just see a bunch of different scenes in your mind, um, but you do travel somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then you come back out of it and you've forgiven that person or that or yourself. And that event is no longer prominent in your a character so that you right. are healing a part of you. Right. And then from there we go into psychic medium mm -hmm. and I see who's in the room and mm -hmm. we talk to ghosts and spirits and all that fun stuff. Well, and we also did um, a thing where we could talk to. Oh, yeah. To our loved ones, whoever pops up for us, where it was, it was, it was, it was like a, a, it was a meditation with loved yeah, ones. That was the exactly. last thing we did yeah. yeah, in meditations. Yeah. yeah. So you got to go on your own that, and mm -hmm. visit a loved one. Yeah. yeah. Now that one, uh, and beforehand you had said in, in your email, you said, you know, it would help if you could ask, you know, you know, tell, tell your loved ones to, to come, you know, and then it, that might help. And so I did. And I asked my grandpa who passed over. Oh, Grandpa, yeah. please be there. And also, because my mom was taking it too, and she lost her sister uh, before I was even born to diabetes. Oh, dear. And um, so I said, please, Carol, 
I've never met you, but please be there for my mom because it would mean so much to her and it would mean so much to me too. And both my grandpa and my aunt showed up. Um, oh, wow. my, my mom connected with her sister yeah. and, you know, she said it was, it was interesting cause they, she, they didn't say anything, you know, she, she was like, I don't, I don't, I didn't know what to say. It was just nice to, to see, see her. Them. And she was, um, my mom said that she appeared as, um, she had diabetes at the time, but it was like in a better time. It was before right. Carol had had a family and, you know, she was younger and she was in her preferred her, highest. Yeah, best. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so uh, and then my grandpa, it was funny because um, right when you before we even went into that meditation, he showed up. You could feel him. In the yeah, room. I, yeah. I, I, it, it was almost like he was like, "Well, you told me to show up, so I'm here." <laughs> like, are, are we ready to do this? And um, I just, I started crying before we even went into that. Oh <laughs> wow! I'm, the whole time I'm thinking, "Oh God, I'm probably the only one with like tears like running down my face." And but then once once we completed it, it's like everyone was crying. Everyone, I had to get the Kleenex boxes out, <laughs> yeah. and everyone was connecting with yeah. somebody. Yeah, yeah, it was so cool, and with the drum. Uh, the drum journey huh. that did not feel like 30 minutes wow. that felt and, and I think uh, it, my mom was saying the same thing it felt like it was maybe five minutes or wow. less it, because you just go to this place where you you know you're just it, it doesn't feel like 30 you, you minutes. You just go into a trance. Yeah. Well, yeah. my arm knew it was 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I bet. sore the I next bet. day. I but bet. That's great. So yeah. you enjoyed the drum journey? I did. Yeah. And, you know, like you were saying, everyone goes somewhere. And it's, you know, it's different for everyone. But for me, you know, I... Uh, you know, I had a couple people in mind that I wanted to confront just some, you know, ah. stuff from like junior high. Yeah. There's one girl in particular who was super mean to me. She, you know, we were good friends and then she just randomly like just did nasty things to me. So I basically during the drum journey, it was basically me just like dropping F-bombs left and right at her, calling her nasty names and just getting it out of my system. Yeah, you get to go back and redo it. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, this girl, like, caused so much anger for me in other situations. I knew it was her who, like, yeah. you know, started these, you know, whenever I get so, angry, it's because of her. Do you so. feel better? Do you feel like it's healed inside now? Yeah. Like, you, I, have, you don't hold on to that anger anymore? Yeah, I, I, I feel a lot better because I had been, you know, stressed out for the last month about other things. And I think, you know, it stemmed from yeah. those initial feelings with, Absolutely. with this girl. So, and now I'm like, you know, calmed down. That's, that's why we do this work, <laughs> because everything piles on to something else and everything leads to something else. So experiences you had as a teenager or a mm -hmm. child, you will experience the same yeah. feeling again. Yeah in life over and over until you heal it. Right. And right. so you don't have to feel that way again. Yeah. Or you, or if you start to, you'll go, oh, I know how to handle this. Yeah. And you'll stand and up then, for yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Maybe not by dropping F-bombs. No, but. <laughs> you, you want to be more polite. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but you, it felt your good. character will be strong enough to mm -hmm. say, you can't talk to me that way or you yeah. can't treat me this way. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly. So, yeah, it was awesome. And uh, you said there's another one coming up on August, August 4th. August 4th, the okay. same. It's a Thursday from 7 to 9. If you're interested, the price is, what did I think the price was? I can't remember remember <laughs> I have to go I think it's 60 okay um, uh, so call my office phone 970-223-3457 if you want to do the drum journey you can bring a friend a relative mm -hmm. like Molly did you don't have to do it alone it's fun we do psychic work we do meditations we visit our loved ones mm -hmm. I also tune in and we do the drum journey it's just a fun evening two hours seven to nine yeah. on Thursday August 4th Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And MarlaMitchell.com is my website. Cool. Uh, before you go, though, got some Facebook messages, and I see, well, someone was calling, so <laughs> if they call back, we'll get to them. But on Facebook, uh, Jacqueline says, um, let's see, I'm kind of reading this. She says she shares her son with her ex. She's a Virgo. He is a Gemini, and her son is a Capricorn. Uh, her ex offered her a new parenting plan where he and Jacqueline would share uh, their one-and-a-half-year 
time by the time he's three and she's basically just not feeling like this is a good plan and she's thinking she might have to take it to court so she's looking for some guidance which way to go what will the outcome be are they going to resolve this my custody issue first question to her is is it not good for her Hmm. or is it not good for her son right you have to look at the best interest of the child Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if the if the ex is wanting fifty fifty and now it's sixty forty. Let's see what's best for. Does she give the son's name, or we can just do a fake name? No. Uh she didn't give. Okay, him. but he's one and a half. Yeah. I'm saying I think it's a boy. So that's why I'm or, getting it. Did she well, say? Oh, wait. Uh, well, I don't know how old she is. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay. He's under three years old. Okay. Because I got a little male card. Um. Oh, I got the Virgo card too, and Scorpio choices to be made working through so Jacqueline is a Virgo right and her son was a Capricorn yes and hubby was a Gemini mm-hmm. I got that I'm pulling Scorpio and Virgo right now um let me just look at the two of them on a teeter-totter the X and then I'll put the child in the middle It, it feels scary for her. It feels very mm. out of control and scary. And some of this is, you know, Virgos, We I'm a Virgo. We love to control. A lot of people <laughs> do. You have to let go of some control and you have to look at the best interests of the child. Um, if the husband is, or the ex is a threat, if there's a risk to the child's safety, I understand where you're, what you're coming from. Or if there's not a good home situation, but if, I just feel like the little boy needs more time with his dad, and I don't know why. I just feel the connection's very mm-hmm. strong there. So if if the ex is trying to get more time with his son, and he's a good dad, okay, a job, a good home environment, you know, I don't see why this is an issue, unless it's a problem for Jacqueline. So she needs to look, get her ego out of the way, and look at what could be best for the boy, for the son. Because mm. I, I do feel the dad needs more time with him and it okay. feels to be valuable. So don't take him to court if this is about your ego. Okay, mm-hmm. Jacqueline? Just see see if it's okay for the child. Okay. Okay. Something to think about. Yes. 94.3 The X, Psychic Marla Mitchell in the studio. From Facebook, uh, Dana is wondering if uh, you see her getting a new job anytime soon. And Dana is a Taurus. Dana. Okay. So she's wanting a new job. Yes. We're assuming that she's looking. She's got her resume up to date. Yeah. Okay. Let's look for Dana. Okay. Oops. Cards went flying all over the place. Whoops. Okay. I guess I was going to pull the wrong card. So I'll get those in a minute. Libra. She's the Taurus. Hmm. There is something. Uh, Libra means patience, balance. Um, a little bit, you're you're looking too far and wide, meaning you're too scattered. You need to hone in. I got pregnancy, so nine months or less, um, and assertiveness is necessary, like I told, I think, the first caller. Um, So be proactive, um, narrow down your search, um, work on your resume, work on your self, like if you need to up your computer skills, your social skills, Things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, Ah, I got the word interview skills. So you might Mm. have someone interview you. There's something about, I don't know if you clam up during a job interview, but I feel like work on your interview skills. There's something going on there. Do Hmm. do a, well, because they're definitely, it's high pressure. So maybe do like a mock interview with a friend. Yeah, have someone um, or even someone that you don't know real well, but you know just to kind of ask you certain questions mm-hmm. and have them and have other people watch and see your body language. Um, you know, cause body language is huge. If you cr- sit with your arms crossed and you're, you're all closed off, then you don't look very confident to a prospective employer. So there's something about interview skills that's coming through. Um, change your behavior, change what you're doing. But yes, within nine months or less, if you work on yourself, you do have a new job. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, also, a Facebook comment from Richard. He's curious about love and marriage in the future and career. Dot, dot, dot. Thank you. I had to go <laughs> find my cards when flying across Whoops. the room, that last one. Okay, love and marriage and career, dot, dot, dot. Yes. Okay. Dot, this... dot, dot. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And he is a, whatever June 22nd is. I don't know. That's, oh, that's like a cancer. Cancer? Okay. Yeah, that's on the... Cusp. Okay. Okay, let's do a quick. 
And it's it's not clear if he's already married or if he's looking for marriage. Well, he said love and career. That's a lot. Yeah. I can only do one spread. So let's just kind of do a high level how things are looking in general. I've got Leo coming in. I've got victory. Um, Finances are improving. So I think the job looks good. I also think that there are some behavior changes that Richard can make that um, not huge, just some tweaks to maybe even job and or the marriage, but both look really good. Um, You are with a soulmate, Richard, which means you're with someone you were supposed to be with for however long it's supposed to last. Not all soulmates Mm -hmm. are forever, forever, but um, this does show, oh, and this is the cancer card. So um, it does just show be more, I got the word upfront, be more honest, be more engaged in the relationship and maybe even in work. And so do your best of you every day. Be the best version of you every day as if if this was your last day. Not that it is, but we should always give our best. Right. And then we get the best in return. All right. So both look good. Good, 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 good. That was for Richard on Facebook. And we have run out of time, uh, but you'll be back next Wednesday. I will. Psychic Marla Mitchell here on 94.3 The X. She's on every Wednesday for the entire 8 o'clock hour. If people want to get in touch with you off the air, maybe they want to do a reading with you. How can they get in touch with you? Or come to my workshop. Yes, Yes. or come to your workshop (laughs) August 4th. Uh, My number is 970-223-3457. And my website is MarlaMitchell.com. Alternative for the front range. You gotta open up his eyes to the music.